Today I'm going to be adjusting up my standing rigging tensions using this lose meter um, so I can see what the tension is as I go starting with the back stay it's just a matter of clipping it on to the back stay yeah the right way around once clipped on I can read off the tension on the meter at the top look down at the scale on the main body there to read off the actual tension for the diameter of the wire, in my case 5 millimeters. I'm looking for about 15% of braking strain and adjusting up on this wheel at the bottom of the stay. Now I'm checking the port upper shroud. tension is reading about 12% which is about right. Now on to the lower shroud. That's also reading a similar tension of around about 11-12%. Over to the starboard side, upper shroud. This one's down a bit, around about eight percent. So that'll be that'll definitely need adjusting up. And the lower shroud. That's down too, around about the same, about eight percent. Both these will need adjusting up. Now having removed the protecting tape from the bottle screws and the cotter pins that stop the screws from turning, I'm going to now adjust the tension on the upper shroud up to about 11-12%. So holding a spanner on the flat on the bottom of the shroud. I'm going to turn anti-clockwise in order to increase the tension on the shroud. I should mention that before you make any of these adjustments you should check that your mast is perfectly in the middle not leaning to one side or the other. You can do this by taking a tape measure or a halyard from the top of the mast to a point, a similar point, either side, uh, starboard port side of the deck and checking that the measurements are equal. Gradually the tension comes up as I turn the bottle screw. And that's now the right tension. I'm now checking the straightness of the mast by looking up the main cell luff slide track. Didn't get the angle right on the camera, but it's uh, showing that it's slightly uh, bent. And this, I need to make an adjustment on the starboard lower shroud in order to pull it straight. This uh, box screw doesn't have cotter pins, it's got a lock nut at the bottom, so it's just a case of undoing that and then making the adjustment.
so I'm adding a bit of tension to straighten up the mast. Checking it again now, it's now correct, it's completely straight. So now the tensions are correct, the master straight is just a matter of renewing the cotter pins, doing up the lock nut and taping up the bottle screws again, job done.